everybody. I've got a couple exciting things to share with you today. The first thing is that my daddy made me a pair of drumsticks. In case you guys didn't know, my father is a master carpenter and he made me a pair of drumsticks that are awesome. I'm going to have more about that at the end of the video, but let's get started. What I want to teach today is the difference between 2-4, 3-4, and 4-4 time. 4-4 is the most common beat for metal, which is mainly what I play. And basically, all you have to do is count in your head to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. What the 4 count is, is a measure. So, this is how it sounds when you're playing 4-4 four, four time. This is the very basic form of 4-4 four, four, four time. Now you might have heard me hit the kick drum twice in one of those measures. You can accent it and that's what changes the style of the music. A lot of the music play in rock and roll is 4-4 four, four time. There's a lot of other different times, but for the most part, it's going to be a 4-4 four, four setup. So if you want to accent it, you can do all kinds of things. So let me show you a few things. Now that very end kind of went into a variation of 2-4 time and I will talk a little more about that at the end but that is 4-4 four, four times so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna count in your head 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and you can double bass to it you can play single bass you can accent on your hi-hats you can accent on your toms you can accent on your cymbals it's a really good style to learn when you're first beginning drums. There's a lot of things you can do. Now, you don't want to lose a stick like I did, but at least I caught it. It's not quite as bad. Now we will go to 3-4 time. 3-4 time is very special to me because one summer my grandfather asked me to play in his band. He has passed on now. I loved him very much. He was a great musician. The guy could play anything and it was a pleasure to play with him. But I was 17 years old and only lasted a summer and I wish I would have spent more time with him and his band. 3-4 time is basically the time that most waltzes are written in, if not all of them. And the way that I figure it out when I'm playing a waltz is in my head I go oom pa pa oom pa pa. The reason I do that is because I'm kind of making fun of it, but it's actually true. Oom pa pa oom pa pa. that is the very basic form of it and there's many ways to play that. My band Ascetic actually plays a song that's in 6-8 time which is basically just a measure longer but it's 3-4 time just in a fancy way. That style of 6-8 which is very similar to 3-4. Four, four, to three, four. Now 2-4 time is the easiest way to think about it is just 1-2, one, 1-2, two, one, two, 1. The song that always comes to mind when I'm thinking of 2-4 time is Neutron Dance. This shows how old I am. It was on the Eddie Murphy movie Beverly Hills Cop. I'm just singing doing the Neutron Dance. Now the fun thing about it is that it can go into rock, country, basically any style of music, which actually all the, the time signatures can, but these are the three that I use the most, and this one kind of has a special song for me. It's been in my heart for years and years, 
and it is Hey baby, que pasó? Now it's just an easy, it's an easy beat. The one thing about all these these time signatures is when you're practicing them, what you want to do is you want to make sure and keep your time the same. What you don't want to do is let's just use two four time for to give you an example of what you don't want to do. don't want to vary the speed of what you're playing. What you want to do is keep it a solid tempo. The easiest way, the way that I learned, when I learned drums, my dad bought me a drum kit, my mom and dad bought me a drum kit, and they gave me a bunch of albums and said, hey, learn how to play these songs. The one thing that I didn't realize is I was learning how to keep tempo that way, because when you go into a studio and you spend millions of dollars recording a song, the studio is going to want you to keep it at an even tempo. So all those, all that music you listen to, with the exception of the Sex Pistols and bands like that, are going to be at an even tempo. So the easiest way to learn is to find one of your favorite songs. It's not extremely difficult. Don't try to pick up Tool and learn how to play it in one night. Is to find a song that you want to learn how to play and practice it. And it will keep you at the same tempo. The other way you can do it is with the metronome. I haven't used a lot, a lot of metronome. But most people that do tend to tell me that it can kind of get kind of boring. What you want to do is just keep it at an even tempo. Now, that was a quiz. What I did was I went from 2-4 time to 4-4 four, four time. Did you guys recognize that? That's the lesson for today. Let me talk a little bit more about these wonderful drumsticks. My father has recently been playing around with the lathe. And what the lathe does is it takes a square piece of wood and makes it round. So he said that it's a little bit of a challenge to make a round piece that's this small, this small in a diameter. But the amazing things about these sticks is that for years I've been playing on a Vic Firth American Classic Metal. Back in when I was a kid it used to be the Tommy Lee Signature Series but I don't know Tommy Lee is not with them anymore. And the problem is that the sticks even though they're the longest ones made are still shorter than what I need because I have kind of short arms and I like having a lot of cymbals I like being able to reach and not have to worry about whether I'm going to hit my cymbal when I'm doing a drum roll or something like that. So my father made these about a half inch longer and they're just a little bit thicker than these sticks too. My hands, as I get older I get arthritis and stuff in them, uh, arthritis and, and damage to them and it's harder for me to grip little tiny things. So with these sticks that I'm able to grip them very easily and because they're longer they just make everything better. For me, not everybody needs a longer stick, but I use a longer stick. The other thing about these is they weigh about the same as these sticks that are half inch lighter, which is wonderful. I don't know if there are sticks out there that are almost twice as big in diameter as this stick right here, and they are very difficult to use. They weigh about the same as these sticks that are about a half inch shorter. and that's pretty amazing because I've had drumsticks that actually look like a log. You grabbed them and they actually had a knot where you grabbed them just to hang on to them. And after whacking those things for about 10 minutes, your arms were tired. And it's hard to do a full set if you're playing for 30 minutes or 5 hours with that thick of a stick. And the other thing is the damage it does to your drums. Heavy sticks like that, if you're a hard hitter like I am, it will tear up your heads and it possibly may crack your cymbals if you're not hit the cymbals properly. These sticks are they're great and he actually built a rounded tip on them so you can do drum rolls with them and he actually laminated them which gives them that nice black stripe. At the end of this video <clears throat> I'll attach some pictures so you can see them a little closer see them compared to the Vic Firth Metal Classic. He will also be selling these the problem is, is where he's at right now it's 
17 below zero, so it's a little cold to go out and play with the lathe. But as springtime comes around, he wants to start making these. So if you are interested, he's got all kinds of different woods. And I will try to list the different types of woods that he that he has that he can make these in at the end of the video. Right off the top of my head, I don't know. It's He's got quite a list. I know there's some kind of a Russian wood, but uh, I'll make a list of that at the end of this video so you can see. And if you're interested in them, just uh, contact us and let us know. We'll get you in touch with him. And uh, he doesn't have to make them this long. I don't know about the thickness. This may be as thin as he can go, but if you have hands that you need to grip something, these would be the sticks for you. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me and let me know what's going on. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Uh, if there's something that you would like me to do with the drums that I can possibly do, because, you know, I'm a metal drummer. I'm not a technique drummer for jazz and all that crap. I mean music. Uh, please ask me and I will see if I can answer the questions for you. So this is uh, JD signing off.